Number 1. Remove the background from a video. So as a first step, keep your main video in the second layer. To begin, head over to the effects and search for color key and add it to your video clip. Now head over to effect control and select a little dropper icon beside it. Go over to your preview screen and click on a part of your background. Then go over to this wrench icon and select transparency grid from the options. Now adjust the color tolerance, edge thin and edge feather until your background completely disappears, but not so much that removes the foreground objects. So now drag and drop your background video to the bottom layer like this. And then move that video as you wish like this. Number 2. Track any effect in a video. Go over to Effects and search for any effect you want to track and add it to your video clip. Under Effect Controls, select the Ellipse Mask tool and start tracing an area around the object you want to track. Also, change feather and opacity values as you wish. Apply effect to the mask by changing values in your effect. Then click the stopwatch icon beside Mask Path. Now click this play button and Premiere Pro will begin analyzing your clip. This will take some time. It depends on your computer performance. Once complete this task, your mask automatically be tracked on your subject. Number 3. Create smooth slow motion videos. So as a first step, select your clip and click the right mouse button. Then select speed duration. After that, add slow down values as you wish. Then time interpolation drop down menu has three options. I will explain one by one. It will help you to get an idea of what you choose for your clip. When slowing down a video, Premiere Pro will insert spaces between the frames to extend the video duration. There are three options for how Premiere Pro will fill in the empty frames. Frame Sampling Premiere Pro will automatically fill in empty frames by copying the frame before it. Frame Blending This setting will combine adjacent frames into a single blended frame. This usually creates blurry frames, so the third setting offers another option. Optical Flow With this interpolation method, Premiere Pro will create intermediate frames by averaging the two frames before and after them. This creates a more seamless slow motion effect with less choppy and blurry frames. So select one of these as you wish. This time I select Frame Blending and click OK. Then magic happened. And also if you have any questions, comment below. I will reply as soon as possible. Number 4. Add cinematic black bars to a video. So as a first step, create an adjustment layer. Then drag it to the timeline. Then go to Effects and search for Crop. Then drag it into the adjustment layer. Now go to Effect Controls and under the Crop section, add a value of 10% to the top and bottom. You can change those values as needed. Number 5. Smooth and soften skin in a video. The first step, duplicate your video using hold, alt, key and drag and drop. To begin, go over to effects and type VR denoise, then add the effect into your video clip. Now go over to effect control and under noise level change this value to 030. So now we will add a mask to your clip. Go over to Effect Control and click the Ellipse button under VR Denoise. Adjust that ellipse to look like this. Then increase the mask feather to look like this. Now we will animate that ellipse with face. So click the mask path toggle icon and move that ellipse with your face. Do like this for your entire video. I fast forwarded this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy it, subscribe to me and give thumbs up. And also if you have any questions, comment below.